adhesive or it is media first let us see the structure of the year the year can be divided into three parts external year middle year and inner year so for the normal functioning of the middle year it needs air inside the air from outside through the nose it reaches the posterior part of the nose this posterior part which is called as the nasopharynx the you have a small opening here through that air reaches the middle ear so the tube which connects the nasopharynx or the part behind the nose and the middle ear is called as a eustachian tube if by any reason the eustachian tube is blocked air cannot reach the middle ear and it doesn't function normally and there will be negative pressure in the middle ear now if you see the structure of the ear alone it looks like this here if you can notice it's pearly in color you have a light reflex you have a bone which can be seen and you can see another bone light which is seen inside this so this is a real photograph and here we have a diagram so ear drum it can be divided into two parts so this is pars tensa and this is pars facida so i am in this video i am going to tag a talk about the retraction of pars tensa alone not about the upper part so the ear drum it is attached to only one of the three bones that is the malleus this is malleus incus and stapes so if i draw the diagram of middle ear alone it will look like this if by any reason there is a negative pressure in the middle ear it will suck in the ear drum that is a tympanic membrane in medical terms so when the ear drum is sucked inside mild it's grade 1 when the negative pressure still increases it will be more sucked in and it comes in contact with the bone second bone which is the incus that is grade 2 when the negative pressure still increases it comes in contact with the medial wall of the middle ear but still it is mobile so it's grade 3 in case this is adherent to the medial wall of the middle ear then it is grade 4 so grade 3 both are in contact with the medial part of the middle ear but here here it is plastered the ear drum doesn't move here it is not plastered ear drum still moves now what is the reason for that because the, there is a problem in the middle ear and there is inflammation and there is a healing process also which is going on so during the healing process there's uh, fibrosis between the ear drum and the medial part of the middle ear so this results in adhesion of the ear drum to the uh, results in adhesion of the ear drum to the medial part of the middle ear that is adhesive otitis media now complaints of the patient patient says that ear is blocked and he has got a hearing loss so when you examine the patient and when we by putting a camera in the ear when you examine the ear drum the normal ear drum it looks like this the features i have already mentioned but in case of adhesive auditive media you it will look like this that is the ear drum is plastered to the medial wall of the middle ear so how do you confirm that is plastered or not so we'll ask the patient to do a small maneuver we'll ask him to close the nose and mouth and blow out in a normal person when the eustachian tube is normally functioning and uh, if it is not plastered the ear drum is mobile it moves freely but if it is plastered the ear drum doesn't move at all if it doesn't move at all we have a diagnosis of adhesive otitis media now we had to do a hearing test to know how much of hearing is lost and along with that we had to do an impedance audiometry and if you are able to do two more tests well and good if not it's okay now coming to the treatment part the simplest of the treatment is hearing aid so with that we take care of his complaint that is a hearing loss so as and when he starts using the hearing aid he forgets about the ear block so if you ask me is there a surgical treatment yes so what you do we have to lift up this ear drum which is plastered and see how much middle middle ear is damaged means there will be fibrosis not only the ear drum is plastered to the middle ear even there will be fibrous between the bones too so the three three small bones will be fixed it may not be mobile so we have to release all that 
and there is high possibility there is refibrosis also mind so we have to release all that and this eardrum if it is very thin we have to remove and replace with a graft which is normally taken from here there is a muscle here there is muscle covering fascia here the muscle covering is called as fascia that will be removed a small part will be removed and it, that can be placed as a replacement for the eardrum after examining the middle ear and before placing the eardrum we will put a cartilage we will place a cartilage in the middle ear and place the ear, eardrum that graft over it why so that it doesn't uh, get sucked in again to the middle part so before doing this uh, major surgery if you can do a um, eustachian tube uh, balloon tuboplasty is better where we will we'll put in a balloon in the eustachian tube that is through the nose we will put in a camera and there is an opening of the eustachian tube behind we will introduce a balloon in the eustachian tube and we will inflate it at 10 bar pressure and leave it like that for 2 minutes so we will do that first and try to make to use the eustachian to bring it back to, back to normal as normal as possible and then we will go in for this major surgery this is how you surgically manage this condition so that is about adhesive otitis media. Thank you so much.